Welcome to the reading of the 16th chapter of the book, The Power of Awareness by Neville Gordon. My name is Sensei, and I'll be reading this along with you. So go ahead, grab yourself a cup of tea, coffee, water, get comfortable, and let's dive right in. Chapter 16, Personal Impotence. Self-surrender is essential, and by that is meant the confession of personal impotence. I can of my own self do nothing. John 5, 30 Since creation is finished, it is impossible to force anything into being. The example of magnetism previously given is a good illustration. You cannot make magnetism, it can only be displayed. You cannot make the law of magnetism. If you want to build a magnet, you can do so only by confronting, by conforming to the law of magnetism. In other words, you surrender yourself or yield to the law. In like manner, when you use the faculty of assumption, you are conforming to a law just as real as the law governing magnetism. You can neither create nor change the law of assumption. It is in this respect that you are impotent. You can only yield to or conform And since all of your experiences are the results of your assumptions, consciously or unconsciously, the value of consciously using the power of assumption surely must be obvious. Willingly identify yourself with that which, with that which you most desire, knowing that it will find expression through you. Yield to the feeling of the wish fulfilled and be consumed as its victim. Then rise as the prophet of the law of assumption. This brings us to the end of the reading of the 16th chapter of the book, The Power of Awareness by Neville Goddard. This was a short chapter, so I'm curious to know what resonated with you as you listened to the reading of this chapter. Let me know in the comments below. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like this video, subscribe to this channel, and don't forget to share this content with your friends, family, your co-workers. Till we see again, it is goodbye and God bless.